Do 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 do. Just gonna move that there. Let's pop that there. Then just gonna move this clip out of the way. This just just this clip. What's going on? I don't. Oh, just this clip. This clip? Nope. How do I get rid of these? Oh, I want to move this clip. I don't want to move you. Select. Move. What the? Happy place. Happy place. Right. Let's try something different. I want to delete this clip then. Let's delete it. For the love of... Why? Why Final Cut? Why can't I just delete the clip? What's with all the magnets? Undo this. All I want to do is move that one clip. Everything else is in the right place. I want to move that one clip. Please Final Cut Pro, please. Let me move the clip. Right YouTube, how's it going? Hope you're all good. Right, so in today's video, if you didn't gather from that extremely good performance of me pretending to be frustrated, um, not not sexually I understand that. No. Anyway. Today we're going to talk about the magnetic timeline in Final Cut Pro and how frustrating yet yeah, amazing it is at the same time and how we can make it work to our advantage. So you ever wonder why you have a few clips on your timeline then you drop a clip or a title above one of your other clips and it's got this little dangly thing like a little joint and it joins onto a certain clip and then anything that you do to the clip below removes everything that's attached to that clip. It's, it's so annoying. Well there's an easy uh, I've got to say, it's not easy. It took me ages to find this out. I mean, it's not the simplest of methods to figure out on your own. I mean, most stuff you can find out by yourself, but this, no. Like, you have to Google. Like, you really have to do search for this stuff. It's not easy at all. But then when you know it, it's easy. But up until you know it, it's very annoying. Very annoying. Probably why people stick to Premiere Pro, which in my opinion sucks. But Let's not get into that debate, or if you do, comments below. Anyway, right, I'm going to show you how to do it. So here we have a previous project that I worked on about how to reduce your file sizes in Final Cut Pro. If you haven't checked that out, check that out. Many more as well. Subscribe, thumbs up, bell, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so in this project I've got multiple clips, but clips on top of clips. I've then got this little animation of this dude doing a hurrah with an arrow to the right and side of it. It's all very very technical. And then I've got a little sound effect below going, hey, awesome stuff. So as magnificent as this all is, if I wanted to remove this clip, if I press delete now, everything above it and below it that is connected to that clip disappears. It's annoying Final Cut Pro, it's annoying. So we'll bring that back and I'm going to show you a few little tips and tricks here that's going to, I won't go so far as say, save your life but probably your sanity. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna stick with that one. Yeah, I could do, yeah, it's gonna save your sanity. I wonder if you can hear my fan. I mean, my computer sounds like it's about to take off. I am wearing a lav, so I'm hoping it just picks up my voice, but yeah, so sorry about, sorry about that. The first one being, hit the tilde button, which I like to call the Matilda button, that's because you have to hit the, the tilde button, which is the little the little squiggly line, and it's because it's my keyboard is my tilde. It sounds a little bit like my tilde. Um, yeah, these are the kind of jokes that my friends and family get all the time. So hit the tilde button, keep your finger on it, and as you can see, this little I don't know, it looks like a, a devil's cauldron or something it just appears next to your cursor. What this allows you to do is really cool, and this is definitely going to be impressive. So then you can just grab your clip, hold down and move it. But as you can see everything else stays in the same place. <laughs> now let's try something else. So if we take a look at this clip which is actually linked to the previous clip as we can see by this little thing here. So no prizes for guessing what happens when I delete this clip. So I select this one and if I delete it, 
it, I got this for a reason. Um, it deletes the clip I didn't want to be deleted. Right, so we'll undo that. So as you can see, this, this little tail here, I would like that to actually be linked to this clip. It would make a little bit more sense, wouldn't it, Final Cut? Anyway, so how we do that is we can actually select this clip, then by simply pressing Option and Command at the same time, we can click anywhere over this clip to connect it to that clip. So now when we delete this clip, it's still there. It's still there. Yeah, so let's undo that. But now for my big finale, as it were, if we want to actually get rid of this clip, this one here, if we delete it, you can see that everything moves. It moves. So everything else further down the line that was all nicely linked to my music, nicely linked to sound effects, etc., etc., has been moved. So how do we how do we fix that? So all we need to do now is press the letter P, that's P for Peter, and then with this clip selected, we can simply move it anywhere we want, and then it creates a gap. And in, th in this gap, you can put anything you want in this gap. So we can, we can take another clip, we can drop it in there, and it hasn't affected the timing of any of our clips. I mean, that's brilliant, isn't it? For example, if I just shorten that down just for example's sake and then say I want to put this back in here, P is still on. You can tell that you're on the P because the arrow has changed. If I press A for arrow, that brings it back to the arrow, just so you know. So arrow allows you to move things normally. The P arrow stands for position, so that means that you can position things better. Just remember that I want to position it rather than move it. So changing my arrow head to position head with the letter P, I can then move this into place. And as you can see, it's gone into the gap, but because it isn't the full size of that gap, it's left gaps either side. Now, if you didn't know before, if you originally did this by mistake and you didn't understand what was happening and you had your arrow head set to arrow, then when you went to go and move all this, it would shift everything out of the way, which isn't what we want. So if we keep P, the position, still selected, then this allows us to adjust our clip length to completely fill that gap, which is exactly what we want. <coughs> <coughs> I don't think I've got COVID. I think I'm fine. So yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? I quite like that. Anyway, let's summarize. So if you want to move things normally, like you would do before you knew all these things, A is the normal arrow, which means that you can just move things like this, which then picks everything up. Sometimes it's good, you want to do that because the magnetic timeline is brilliant. That's what Final Cut Pro is all about. It's what separates it from the rest of the software out there. Like it's fantastic. It's just frustrating when you don't know how to use it properly. So hopefully this helps. So we've got A for arrow, then P, for position. So P for position, we can then move that. Nothing shifts. We've just created a bit of dead space that we can fill in later on. Then we have Matilda. Have this allows you to move the clip that's connected to other clips without the other clips moving. Did that, did that make sense? I think it made sense. And then last but not least, the tails. We want to move the tails. So we press Option and Command and then anywhere on that clip we click it and it creates a new link which is ideal if you're hovering over two clips and you want it to be connected to the other clip as opposed to the you, you've seen it just a few minutes ago you know what i mean that's it pretty good pretty cool i think worth a thumbs up check in the mail no, who just checks. I can give you my back's details if you want, but that'll be fine. Whatever works for you. Please subscribe, because honestly, I'm new to this. It's very, I would like some subscribes, please. And hit the bell as well, so that you can be notified of more videos that I do with amazing jokes and Oscar performances. Yeah. <sighs> Bloody COVID. Bloody COVID.
How many people will watch this video in like five years time and be like, what, what's going about COVID? What's he talking about? This video is sponsored by Stress Balls. Just all the Stress Balls. Your perfect companion while editing in Final Cut Pro. How'd you like them? Balls. Link in description below. Affiliate links. Yeah. Affiliate links for a stress ball. How does Peter McKinnon do it? Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace. Did Brits do that? Peace. See you later.